This past Friday, January 29th, the Hopkinton Hillers girls varsity basketball team took on Dedham and celebrated the five seniors on their roster. Here's a look at the pregame Senior Day festivities. First, we'd also like to recognize Dedham's three seniors. If you'd just like to stand, number 14, Melissa Elliott. Number 20, Kara Bullett. And number 24, Lady Turner. Congratulations, Joseph. And now for the Hopkinton seniors. First, Kylie Hardenbrook, and her guests, Kristen, her mother, Mike, her father, and Abby, her sister. Our next senior is Maggie Hetzer. And her guests this evening are her mother Shannon, her father Greg, her sister Carl, and her brother Mike. Our next senior is one of our captains, Lulu Murphy. And her guest is Mother Tracy, her father Kevin, her brother Josh, sister Emma, and grandmother Betty. Our next senior, also a captain, Millie Sinsenny, and her guest, her mother Mary, her father Scott, her sister Annabelle, and brother Ethan. <laughs> and last, but not least, is our final senior captain, Caroline Connell, and her guest, her mom, Melissa, and her dad, Mike. Congratulations, ladies. Both teams put up 12 points in the first quarter, Carly and Maggie Hedstrom each knocked down a three-point field goal. Hedstrom on the entry. Over to Lulu. The kick out to the corner, up for three, got it. Maggie Hedstrom knocks it down. Pretty good arm there by Delaney Turner. Cho feeds it out to the corner, up for three, and knocking it down is Carly Hedstrom. In the second quarter, Lauren Cho put up eight points, including a pair of threes to help the Hillers outscore Dedham 16-7 and take a 28-19 lead into the halftime break. Well, that might have just been a contact stoppage. Too many players in the same area. Cho for three. Got it. Swishes it right through. There goes Maggie to Cho for three. Count it, Lauren Cho feeling it. In the third quarter, more effective defensive pressure by the Hillers and a three point field goal from three different players helped them add to their lead. There, and it's collected by Lulu, nice rebound. Kiki driving in up from the block, air ball. Good rebound by Trendle, up top now and Lulu knocks it down. Joe leads it out to Lulu. Now up top, Maggie for three. Got it. Swishes it through. 
Her second three-point bucket of the game. 12-point game. Cho over to Fossbender for three, yes! They outscored Dedham 11-7 to take a 39-26 lead into the final quarter. In the fourth quarter, Kiki Fossbender added eight points. Here comes Hopkinton up court, Lulu with possession. Edstrom over Trendle, now Lulu. Fossbender for three, knocks it down. They could just wait for a good opportunity. Fossbender for three, and I'd say that was a good opportunity as she knocks it down. The Hillers outscored Dedham in the frame 12 to 11 and took the game 56 to 37. Kiki Fossbender had a team leading 21 points, while Lauren Cho added 12 points. Hopkinton improved to four and one overall. After Medfield shut down sports for the week, Bellingham picked up the challenge against the Hillers boys hockey team this past Saturday. Prior to the game, both teams had a moment of silence for injured Bishop Fian player A.J. Quetta. Hopkinton took control early, netting five goals in the first half. And now taking over, that's Swain looking for a shot there. Good defense in front of the net. And Mara going to get to the puck. Here he goes on a break to the net. Shot and a goal! Habit Mara makes it 1 0 Hillers. Less than a minute into action. 25 seconds into action to be exact. Fast start. Toko sends it over to the near side. There's a shot out in front of the net, and it's a loose puck. And was that put in? Yes, it was. And that is going to be Ryan Title with the goal. Ryan Title makes it 2 to nothing with 19-17 left to go in the first half. Aiden Walsh on the assist. Over to Berman. And that nice pass over to Berman. That went in. Wow, what a shot by Mike Berman. Wow. Hey, for the blue light. And you can give Cam Jarrett the assist. And he didn't expect that to go in. But he found the seam and put it through with 324 left to make it 3 to nothing. Hillers. Sends it out to Toko. Toko looking for a shot. Sends it over to Jarrett, and Jarrett puts it in. A beauty of a setup for Jarrett by Jeff Toko. And it's 4 0 Hillers. Go for a tougher shot. And here comes Toko looking for a shot, and he puts it in. Jeff Toko goes right side, top corner, and makes it 5 0. And that goal comes with one second left in the first half. Five to nothing after one, and the Hillers added another goal in the second half. And now racing up the ice on a wide open break. Tyler Morris, he'll leave it behind. And the shot by Moore, and that's it! Andrew Moore makes it six to nothing, Hillers. And a great assist by Tyler Morris. Hopkinton took the game six to nothing and improved to three wins and one loss overall. On Thursday, January 28th, Hiller's Alpine Ski had another successful competition. Here's a look. The protest video evidence is admissible. All right, Kate, let's see what you got. Beautiful through the flush, back to the rhythm. Hit that delay, bring it on in. Push, push, nice, well done. Fantastic, that is the fastest time of the night on the girls course without a quit, without a doubt. Alpine Ski had a big night as the boys won for the first time in the program's history and the girls took second place. Kate Barry finished first overall 
Libby Herlihy finished fourth. Clara Niss finished fifth. Gabriella Siri finished 16th to lead the girls. As far as the boys, Jackson Schlussel finished first. Cameron Hanna finished second. Jake Lakosh finished sixth. And Nathan Foster finished 10th to lead the boys. Congratulations on the first first place finish in program history to the boys' Alpine ski team.